Good morning and a very warm welcome to our service on Good Friday. It is at the moment a beautiful day and the sun is up. And we're going to remember the events of Good Friday this morning. You might also like to tune into our YouTube channel and have a look at some of the clips that are on there. We've got a couple of clips that are particularly for children and families. So you just need to search for St Peter's Yaxley YouTube and we've got two videos. One is Laura and her family making an Easter garden and they're going to give us an update on that over the next couple of days. And we've also got a video that I've done particularly for William de Yaxley School but it's on our YouTube site and it talks about the whole events of Holy Week that you might like to come to. So today is Good Friday. We think particularly today about the cross, about Jesus dying for each one of us and about his love for us. And so as we come to do that this morning, we're just going to take a moment of quiet and we're gonna think about the week that's gone by. You might want to think of some of the events that we've had this week. The Palm Sunday with the celebrations and the palm crosses and the palm branches and waving. You might want to think of Maundy Thursday when Jesus washed his disciples' feet, when they shared that bread and that wine together. So let's just take a moment of quiet and we're going to have a short time of confession, which is where we say sorry to God for the things that we've done wrong. Loving God, as we think about the week that has gone, we think about the amazing events of this Holy Week. We think about the happiness and the joy on Palm Sunday as people recognise Jesus as King. We think of last night, of Maundy Thursday, of that time when Jesus washed the disciples' feet. He showed them how to be a servant, how to look after and care for others. And then he shared that bread and that wine with the disciples and told him to remember him by doing this. As we come to this day, this Good Friday, we think of how we have been this week. We think of the things that we've done well. We think of the things that maybe we wish we'd, we had done better. And in our own hearts and minds, we say sorry to God this morning. We also say thank you to God for those wonderful times that we've had, maybe with family or friends, connecting via maybe a laptop, connecting on the phone. And we thank God that even though we can't be together, that through our media, through our technology, we can see and hear each other. On this Good Friday, Jesus forgave our sins by dying on the cross for us. And so on this Good Friday, you are forgiven through the love of Jesus. Amen. As I've spoken already of some of the events of Holy Week, the Palm Sunday with the crowds cheering, the Maundy Thursday, which in my mind is a quieter day, a day when Jesus served his disciples. And today we come to Good Friday. We come to one of the central symbols of the Christian faith, which is the cross. And so let's think for a few moments about our Good Friday story. And we left our story last night as Jesus was going out with his friends. He went out to sing songs with them. And then he went out to pray with them in a place called the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus wanted to talk to God his Father and so spent some time in prayer there. He asked his disciples to pray with him, but they got tired really quickly. But Jesus continued to talk to God his Father about what was going to come. And at the end of this scene, we see Judas coming with the Roman officials coming to capture Jesus and to take him away. We see the disciples being really scared and really afraid. And we see Jesus being led off into the courts of the day. Some of the disciples followed at a distance. Some of those friends of Jesus were around and about with him. But Jesus is our central figure for today. And he's taken to Pilate and Pilate is one of the rulers of those days. 
And Pilate doesn't want to accuse Jesus of anything. Pilate can't see anything that Jesus has done wrong. But the crowds who had gathered really want Jesus to be killed on this day, Good Friday. People didn't like what Jesus had been doing. People didn't like what Jesus had been saying. And so on Good Friday, one of the traditions was that a prisoner who was already being held could be released. And Pilate wanted that person to be Jesus. But the crowds wanted a man called Barabbas to be released. And they shouted what they wanted. They shouted they wanted Jesus to be put to death. And they shouted they wanted Barabbas to be released. And in the end, Pilate took some water. He washed his hands because he didn't want to be part of this. And Jesus was given over to be crucified. And they had to walk Jesus out of the city and they walked into a place called Golgotha. And there on that hill, we know that he was crucified. We know that he had hands and feet nailed to the cross. And there he hung with two thieves either side of him. And that's the place where Jesus died. We know that many amazing things happened at a time when Jesus died. We know that the land went dark. We know that the temple curtain, the temple was a bit like our churches in those days. The temple curtain was torn in two from top to bottom. And that shows us that any divide, that any separation between us and God was taken away. Because Jesus loves us so much, we get to have a relationship with God each and every day. So we're going to think about the symbol of the cross. And it won't surprise you to know I've got lots of crosses around my home. Many of them have been given to me by friends or by family. And after this video, I invite you to go and have a look around your house to see if you've got any crosses there. Maybe to ask your parents, where do they come from? What's the story of them? So I'm going to show you some of the ones that I have. This is the most recent one that I've bought and I bought it just a few weeks ago when I went to Lawn Abbey in Leicestershire. And you perhaps can't see the words on it, but each line of the cross has got the words of the Lord's Prayer on it, our, our Father Prayer. And this hangs in front of me on my desk, so I remember this prayer when I'm working. And it's something I think is really beautiful and really amazing. I've got this cross. And I don't know if you can read the words across the middle of it. It may be a bit difficult over a video. But the words across the middle where Jesus would have had his hands pinned to the cross, they say Jesus to remind us that the central figure of our Christian faith is Jesus. The central person for our story today is Jesus. And we remind ourselves that looking at the cross of Jesus' love and care. I've got another cross it was given to me in the parishes that I was previously by some people there and this is called a crucifix and it's a cross that actually has Jesus on it and across it at the top it has the things that were written on the cross above Jesus and this reminds us of how Jesus died for us it's not something very pretty to look at but it reminds us again that Jesus died for us on this Good Friday This is a really special cross to me. It's a cross that my dad had. And it's a cross that was made out of wood from York Minster. York Minster is a beautiful, very big church. It's a cathedral. And it's a church uh, that was in a big fire a few years ago. And out of that fire, they took some of the things that were left. My dad was born in Yorkshire, so York was a really special place for us. And he was given this. And it reminds it reminded him of York Minster, of what happened. And I was given it after my dad died. And so I remember this beautiful cross and it reminds me of my dad as I look at it. This is the cross which hopefully you can see I've got hands across it. And it's a cross that was given to me by a friend of mine when I was ordained. 
And to me, it reminds me, we just talked in our story about Jesus uh, when that temple curtain tore in two, about how we now have a relationship with God. And it reminds us of how we hold our hands together, how we are in the family of God. And it might be that we need to know that a little bit more at the moment, that we're still part of a family, that we're still part of something. And these hands remind me of that, that God is reaching out to us, that what Jesus did on the cross for us is God reaching out for each one of us. And so this one hangs in my study and I love it. I've got a glass cross here. Now I can't remember if this is one I made, but I made a similar one to this when I was at college and I was really proud of myself. And it's made out of glass with other pieces of glass in it. It's heated at a really high temperature to make it a cross. Uh, and I love it because it reminds me of something I did that was creative. This is a cross that was also given to me in my last parishes when I left. It was given to me by some of the people that I did schools work with. And hopefully you can see it's got lots of different people on it, lots of different figures. And those people remind me of the children that I worked with in those parishes. It reminds me of the children that I work with in these, this parish. And I love going to our schools. I love the children and families and youth work in our church. And the picture there is of Jesus with children, because children are so incredibly important to Jesus. And there are stories in the Bible about how he uses children to make an example to adults as to how they should act and be. This is a cross that was made by a friend of mine. It's made out of lace and is so beautiful and delicate. The cross itself on that first Good Friday would not have been beautiful and delicate, but what happened on that cross was an act of love, and so there is real beauty in it. This is the cross, perhaps that helps me most of all, to think about today. And today, in many ways, is a really sad day. It's a day when we stop and we think about what Jesus did for us. But I love that this cross is colourful. This is all handmade, rolls of paper. But in the middle of this cross is our central theme of today and of Easter. If you can see in the middle, there is a heart. And that heart reminds us of Jesus' love of God's love for each one of us. And that is the message of Good Friday. You might have seen as you've been going around Yaxley, perhaps in your daily walk, pictures of rainbows, pictures of sunshines, people have put teddy bears in their windows. We've got our palm crosses on our door that we made last Sunday. And so today I invite you to do something more to that. You might have already drawn a rainbow or a sunshine. But this week, on today, for today, in the next couple of days, I invite you to draw your own cross. Make a rainbow cross. Remembering that our cross is such an important thing for us as Christians. So I invite you to just take some pens and pencils and crayons. Just draw the outline of the cross and make a rainbow cross and put it in your window. So that when people are on their walk over the next couple of days, they're going to see this. They're going to think of this cross. They're going to know how special today is. And they're going to know through the colour of the love that's shown through this. The love that you've put into this picture. And you can share it with other people if you put it in your window. So I invite you today or over the next couple of days to draw your own rainbow cross, to put it in your window. And get your parents to put a photo on Facebook because we'd love to see what you've done. And so as we think about our story, as we think about today being such a special day for Christians, we're going to pray together. Loving God, we give you thanks for today, which is Good Friday. We give you thanks for the love and the care that you poured out for us on this Good Friday. We give you thanks for the love and the care that Jesus showed to us by going to the cross for us. We give you thanks that even though today is a really difficult day, 
a really hard day we remember that Jesus gave his life for us that we can still call this Good Friday because the good comes out of the fact that this happened because you love us so much and want a relationship with us as we look at maybe the crosses around our home as we look at the crosses that we made ourselves Help us to remember as we look at these crosses that you love each one of us so much. Help us to remember that in these days we are not alone. Help us to remember that you are with each one of us wherever we are. And today we pray for those people who may be unwell. If you know somebody today that you're worried about, maybe you just want to say their name to God as we pray. We pray for all those people that are working in our hospitals. We pray for all those people that are working in our care homes. We pray for those people that are delivering our post, that are making sure we have food to eat. For our police who are on the streets. For all those important key workers, we give thanks for what they are doing today as they offer their lives in service of us. We pray that you will keep them safe and we thank you for what they are doing. And Father, when we might feel afraid or alone, remind us on this Good Friday and every day that you are always with us, that we can always talk to you and tell you the things that we're worried about, that we can bring to you the people who we care about. And we know that as you heard Jesus on the cross, you hear us. You hear our prayers each and every day. And so we bring our prayers to you today. We thank Jesus for what he did for us. And we thank you for your love and care. So we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to invite you to join in the words of our Lord's Prayer. And we're going to use our Lord's Prayer cross for this. So we say together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. And we do our normal Amen. And so we come to the end of our time of worship this morning. We'll be back this afternoon at two o'clock for an hour at the cross. We invite you to join us for that. But please do go and have a look for crosses around your house. Think about what the story might be behind those. And please do go and make your own rainbow cross. Put it in your window so that people that need to know the hope and the love and the life of today will know that through your beautiful drawings. So take care and God bless.